Students, we are talking about the phases of mergers and acquisition, and in that we are talking about HR challenges that uh, take place in each of these phases. In this topic, we are going to talk about the HR implications for the integration planning phase. You can see in this uh, diagram that uh, this is the third phase of the M&A merger. And in this integration planning phase, different HR activities are chalked out. You know that integration planning is when you have actually uh, completed your due diligence phase in which you have looked at different alternatives and options, and then you have finalized by comparing your strengths and weaknesses. And in integration planning, you actually chalk out the plans for the integration effort. All right, so in HR particularly, in the HR department, what you specifically need to do or what is recommended to be done in the HR domain is uh, that first of all, developing employee culture sensitive communication strategies. Now you have to be very much careful that you are merging two cultures together. And cultures, when they merge, the basic issue that comes up regard is, is regarding how the two cultures communicate, not just verbally, but also um, non-verbal communication. So you would be concerned about how to show respect. You would be concerned about how to show power. You would be concerned about uh, what level of formality or informality should be in the both cultures. And that needs to be uh, uh, communicated in a culture sensitive way. Uh, so if you are going to establish an organization in China, for example, so Chinese culture is uh, it, it, it's very, very much restrictive. Uh, they're not too much expressive. They're, uh, they're, uh, they're, they're formal and uh, they uh, uh, like to do things in a structured way. So if you are going to establish an organization in China, you have to uh, maintain the cultural sensitivity over there in order to be successful. Then the second thing that you need to do in the integration planning phase is to design key talent retention programs. So you want to retain the talent, you want to retain talent in the acquiring firm, as well as retain talent in the firm that is being uh, uh, that is being acquired. So how you are going to retain that talent? What is going to be the staffing strategy at that level? What is going to be the compensation strategy? What is going to be the appraisal uh, strategy for uh, retaining the talent in your organization? And how you are going to manage? knowledge transfer and talent management in your organization. You need to chalk out that in the integration planning phase. Then another thing that is very important is that you need to plan how you're going to lead your organization, who is going to be your leader, how they are going to communicate to the employees, how they are going to establish their authority. Is it going to be authority in a bureaucratic way? Is it going to be authority in an informal way? Um, what is going to be the control mechanisms, how you are going to establish who is the leader. That is another very much important aspect of HR in the integration planning phase. And then you need to, entire, to develop an entirely new strategy of HR regarding all the aspects of HR in the new entity. You need to forget what you were doing in your previous country. You need to forget what people are doing in the current country right now because you have established an entire new entity and you need to see how they mix together and then after mixing together, what is going to be the formation of that new entity and how that is going to look like. And according to that, you need to make the entire uh, HR strategy for the new entity. Uh, another very much important aspect of HR challenge is uh, to help the organization uh, cope with the change process. So change management is a very important aspect of human resources, and that is very much uh, relevant 
to the mergers and acquisitions because that is a uh, business situation in which the maximum uh, amount and magnitude of change is taking place. So uh, the HR managers, they need to make sure that the change management process is well taken care of. And finally, in the integration planning phase, uh, you need to uh, define an organizational blueprint and uh, staffing plan. So you need to, uh, blueprint ka kya matlab hai ki aapka organizational structure kya hoga, uh, aapki organization jo hai wo informal structure hoga, mechanistic structure hoga, organic structure hoga, uska kya blueprint hoga aur kis tarah se aap unko uh, staff ko uh, roles and responsibilities jo hai wo allocate karenge. So what is going to be your staffing plan according to that organizational blue, uh, blueprint. So these are the various different activities or challenges of human resource during the integration planning phase.